from what they do from there is up to them. My job is to give them as much communication as humanly possible to inform them everything that's going on and then making sure that they're happy on a daily basis. And then I did my job as the entrepreneur. Whatever happens after that, if they fail or anything else, then it, it really comes down to like what what exactly happened with the particular employee. So it, it really comes down to just establishing a layer of accountability to yourself and trying to manage your time as best possible because time – is very limited. <laughs> I'm at the point where I'm trying to get every single <laughs> every single hour back. Um, but like basically, as my team scales, I'm able to get more and more time True. through my t- through my day, which is amazing to have. Um, which is like less videos I have to create, so it becomes very very helpful within all this. So. Yeah, because you have a lot of hobbies and personal life and you have a lot of interest to travel and try, experiment and, and, and do sports. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good suggestion for entrepreneurs to learn how to scale. In, so to have more time for yourself. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't come with the work. True. First you work, you build the system and then you, you gain back. This is Roy, yes. <laughs> which you, are, and- you have to invest something. And it like, it comes down to like you thinking that it's basically unacceptable, like the entrepreneur that they should enjoy what they do on a daily basis. Like there's been this like U S culture thing where like, it's very standard in U S culture to say, okay, I don't need to enjoy what I do. I just need to like work. I just need to work and make money. It's, it's very standard in American culture. I just need to work as hard as humanly possible and enjoying my job is secondary. That's very, very normal for a person to think that in American culture. And I think we, I think changing the conversation is important on that because it should be very, if we spend probably 30%, 30 or 40% of our life working, we should enjoy it on a daily basis. And it, that goes for the entrepreneur and the employee, both Mm -hmm. the entrepreneur you don't have to hate your life and like grind 14 hours a day, hating every piece of your life. You can get entrepreneurs, you can get other employees that enjoy that particular task. Like, like I said before, I hate doing blogs and graphic design. I have employees that do blogs and graphic design because I would be miserable if I did that task. So realizing that you don't have to hate your life is if you're an entrepreneur or an employee, you can actually do something that you're naturally curious about if following through the the multiple streams of curiosity of what you're interested in and you can naturally find a job for that particular category that you're interested in think about it i'm interested in neurology which is like a whole other like thing like that's like a whole like i could have been like a professor a neurology professor or whatever <laughs> you <but> will probably <laughs> no. <laughs> there's no way but like i i could have been like a neurology professor but i'm in marketing like it's it's a it's about applying these super weird things that you're curious about and applying them randomly inside of a job that could potentially make you some money and when you're building a personal brand, the more opportunities you have of making your passion into some type of profit yeah. in some weird yeah. way. So I took my my passion for neurology, applied it to marketing, and now I'm able to test for multi million dollar brands, which they which I make a lot of money for them now. And yeah. then it, you can do the same thing for another random particular skill. If you love doing art, you can apply that to Photoshop now because every 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 business needs Photoshop now at this point. So like it, you can apply these random things that you're curious about, these random things that you're passionate about and making them an employee. And then it just comes down to people knowing that you exist. That's where brand comes in. That's where content comes in. So if you're able to show those skills, show those passions that you have and apply Mm -hmm. more context about that, then you're able to really provide a get a lot more of opportunities and go like for example if you're passionate about art then you say okay if i'm passionate about art i need to start learning how to do photoshop because that's what everyone needs these days and then you can start posting about photoshop tutorials on youtube you can start talking about photoshop on 
LinkedIn. You can start applying for jobs on LinkedIn and other things like that and start developing your skills in that particular way. And you then you now have a job that you're passionate about and it's just something as random as art. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity out there. And especially as the huge labor shortages in America, um, there is like literally every single job, every single sign in Texas right now, they are requesting for a job. <laughs> so if you need a job, there is literally every single business needs, um, a, a late worse. You have a huge labor shortage right now. So, so there's no are, are you saying that, that people should look at their passion and then look for the need in the market and uh, try to merge it and then there is an opportunity for them to grow and build their personal brand exactly yes that that's exactly it so like it's really reframing the conversation from american culture where you say find it like graduate college find a job doesn't matter if you like it just find a job and just work the re work the rest of your life and it doesn't matter just make money and just go through the corporate ladder even though you hate you have to deal with all the politics hating life everything else spend 40 percent of your life just hating your life and that's no way to live and then then reframing the conversation taking a step back saying okay what am i naturally curious about 